What if I told you that you've been installing NVIDIA drivers wrong? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install NVIDIA drivers like a pro and improve system performance at the same time. This is Nico Knows Tech. Nico Knows Tech, all your tech tips and reviews on deck. Nico Knows Tech, number one channel with the news on deck. All right, if we look in Task Manager here, we can see NVIDIA Display Container, uh, Broadcast, Virtual Helper, Web Helper, all these different things, and they're using up memory and resources. Now, if we look under TCP View, we can see everything that's communicating out of the machine and look under NVIDIA. We have Web Helper and Container. Um, we have all these things that are communicating out to the net, and they could be checking for updates, you know, marketing, and then telemetry, which we'll get into shortly. Now the first thing you're going to need to get is Display Driver Uninstaller. You can find the link in description, or DDU is what we call it. And this is going to let us install it cleanly, better than NVIDIA. So let's go ahead and open it. And we can click OK here, if you get this pop-up, as well as this one. And then here, under NVIDIA Specific Options, I like to remove everything. So I like to remove physics and on the driver folders, GeForce Experience, of course. You could leave the AMD section alone because we're not touching that today. Then we can close it. All right, and since it's detecting we're not in safe mode, that's okay. If you want, you can go ahead and hold left shift and go to restart, but we're just gonna go ahead and go with it. So I've selected my component as GPU. I'm not gonna click this orange button over here because that's actually a third party app. That's, uh, that's an ad there. We're going to go up to the top here and click Clean and Restart. And then once this is done, it's going to reboot. All right, now that we've rebooted, you're going to need to go to NV Clean Install. And that link is in the description as well. And this program has a lot more features than GeForce Experience. We can install right here by best driver for my hardware or manually select a driver version. You can select whatever version of uh, the drivers that you want from NVIDIA all these different versions there but for this case we're just going to install the best driver for my hardware and then we're going to click next and then at this point we can choose which components to install all these different options are there now if we just click on recommended it's just going to select these top three physics hd audio over hdmi display driver if we go to minimum it's only going to install the display driver but i'm going to choose minimum and then I like to customize and I like to add Visual C because a lot of games need that. So you might need USB-C if you have an Oculus, um, if you have a Quadro card. Now telemetry, we're gonna, not going to enable this because this collects marketing data. It tracks what you're doing on your computer uh, as far as gaming goes. And speaking of privacy, check this out. Right now, Big Tech is collecting data on everything you do online and building a profile on you for financial gain, and you don't see a penny of it. Take back your privacy and take back control over your connected life by using a reliable VPN. Unsecure websites and public Wi-Fi are the easiest ways hackers can wreak havoc in your lives. But if you have NordVPN with its military-grade encryption, lightning-fast speed, and over 5,000 servers worldwide, you can browse safely and privately. NordVPN also has state-of-the-art, dedicated peer-to-peer -peer servers to protect your usage from your ISP, as well as Big Brother and with advanced obfuscation servers, you can access blocked websites or even streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, and more anywhere in the world. NordVPN has a strict no-logs policy and has never and will never be pressured by governments. Take back your privacy today and use my exclusive link in the description to get a huge discount on NordVPN. Stay safe. All right, so now we're going to also look through here. We don't want uh, the shield service. We don't need NV back in. I definitely don't need a process monitor. I don't need it checking for updates. Um, I use MSI for frame rate, so I don't need frame view SDK. Um, but you guys might use that. So if you use the NVIDIA's uh, frame rate measurement, then that might work for you. But you can actually go through here and they have the descriptions of all the different features. So you don't have to be an expert on graphics components in order to, uh, to navigate this software. So we're gonna go ahead and hit next. And it's gonna start the download. It's actually downloading it very fast. And once the installer files are copied over, it's going to install NVIDIA, but customize the way we did it here. All right, and for installation tweaks, we're going to leave this alone because some of these are experimental. But if you want to try them, go ahead. But um, we've already not in, we've already not installed you know telemetry, so we don't need to to disable it here, and we don't need to do a clean installation because we use DDU. So we can go ahead and just go to the next phase. 
and we click install here you can build a package if you're going to make if you have several of this same machine you want to make a package where everyone has this same graphics but in this case we're just going to install and you've probably seen this before and since we already configured our settings we can just go with custom then it's going to finish the install All right, now once it's done, we look again in TCP view and we have none of these going on. And the task manager, we only have NVIDIA Broadcast because I do use NVIDIA Broadcast. But this has taken off a ton of load off of the system. And now you can go back to gaming and um, congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope this was a benefit to you. If you like this, please hit like and subscribe and share it with your friends. If you'd like to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, links are in description. Also, we have a Discord server. And if you want to support us on Patreon, link is also in description. And I will see you next time.